Hello everyone! Welcome back to some more World of Final Fantasy. Let's check in with the girls' tea room. Hello! Need something? Hi. Yes, I do. Whose soul will you touch? Oh boy, we have a few here. Castle Cornelia is in an uproar. The princess has been kidnapped by the princess goblin. And who knows what the foul tortures that fiend has in store for her. The warrior light sallies forth to the goblin camp to rescue her kidnapped highness. Okay, so this will move away from the... Okay. Wow, five star. Defeat the monster living in Big Bridge. Where art thou, Smoochy Poo? Yep. Let's do it. What is going on here? Oh, Captain, terrible news. Her Highness has been abducted by the Princess Goblin. What? Did you say the Princess Goblin? This is bad. It's a lot of talking for only showing two dudes in there. Princess, are you all right? <gasps> the warrior of light. Oh, I Can I capture her? Come. Oh, my warrior of light. Oh, there's my smoochy poo. So, have you thought it over? Will you make me your bride? What? What? His bride? Yes! Princess Goblin. I already told you my answer is no. Good. What? Surely you know my heart beats for one cause. My print. Oh? The kingdom of Cornelia and all its people. <laughs> oh, is that all? <laughs> Become my lovey dubby hubby, and my goblins will give you guys all the protection you will ever need. The one you gave that giant goblin at the Spankaroonie? That is just the kind of manhandling that the goblin army's been dying for. Uh, I like no, everything about this. I have a duty. What about her dinkiness here? Could you possibly find more charming than me? If she's that special to you, I'll keep her nice and safe by imprisoning her for the rest of her life. Happy now? Isn't the realm in good hands? Please, no. Enough! Now you've gone too far! <laughs> I really like everything about this. Well, I guess we can't blame you for falling for a dreamboat like the Warrior of Light. But maybe you'd settle for Lon instead? How about it? Oh. Sorry, there's no room for dummies on this battlefield. Is she playing hard to get? Why am I so intrigued? I, <laughs> I don't think I'm ready for this. Are these feelings normal? Maybe for you? That's really good. Because, you know, the whole thing about the chase is the less you act interested, the more people... Anyway. That was it's pretty good. Why am I... F why am I feeling so hot for her right now? <laughs> yeah, this is great. Alright, um, do we need shell? I don't know, I guess we can try. Okay. Well, that's just rude. Oh, only 87 damage? Oh, man. Can I still hit you with... Magic, even though we're blind? Um... Let's try a fire right, even though I haven't leaped you yet. Resisted, and we did 800 damage. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. I'm doubting we can... Ca yeah, we can't capture you. At least not yet. Maybe someday. All right, so you're a week to ice, wind, water, holy. Oh, I don't have Dio. Water, wind, ice. I don't know if we have any of those in this setup. Oh, a Diem Luda. Diem Luda has water. Did that do about the same damage as the resist did? Just curious. Oh yeah, Blizzard with uh, Vera, of course. Oh right, and Vera also does. Been Man, Vera's so cool. Take this. Not done yet. 
Sorry, princess. Maybe we're a little too advanced level for this one. Princess Goblin. It's over. Please step aside. I can't allow this evil mirage to continue in her foul ways. No. No. Oh I will not. shit. Despite her poor judgment, her heart is in the right place. Yeah. Can you blame her? Like any princess, all that she desired was a dashing gentleman. Oh, for sure. It is no less noble than what I do for my kingdom. Yes, it is. Princess. Now, huh? If you genuinely wish to protect me, then please put your sword away. Yeah, Very please. Very well. If it is your wish I show mercy, then I will stay my blade. This is great. Her Highness is as caring as they come. Why else would I have fallen in the... Huh? <laughs> Princess Sarah! Oh, I am so not worthy! You win! I must accept my defeat! So long! Oh, hey, from now on, I'm going to be a better ruler and look after my goblins! So long! <laughs> oh, and I hope there aren't any hard oh. feelings. <laughs> so long. And like, if you ever need me for anything, I'll be here in a goblin minute. So just say the word. <laughs> right. We'll keep you posted. So long. <laughs> She, she's my new favorite character. Oh man, even the thumbs up. New favorite character. I don't even want to capture it because that's too. That's wrong. A fine ruler, willing to change when necessary. Just the sort of example I should strive to imitate. I want her to be my third step. Your highness is fine the way you are. If you need help, I will always be there to assist you. <laughs> I am beginning to see I am in good hands. Thank you, sir. Your Highness? There's no telling what mirages might lie just around the bend. I trust that you will keep me safe until we <gasps> return home. Their nubs are touching. Right. Then I suggest you stay as close to me as possible. <laughs> I love thrilling adventures. We should have another one. Oh, no, no. We need to adopt a strict no more abductions rule. Never again. That may be the, one of my favorite things of this game so far. In fact, that may be my favorite thing in this video game. Oh shit! We... What now? Which champion would you like to awaken? Hmm. Uh. What? What does this do again? I can't remember. What did that? What did that do? What's this stuff about invoking champions? With invocation, you can call upon the mediums you've met for help, and then they will fight alongside you in the uh, battle. Dude, what? Really? Okay. Really? The catch is. You can only invoke their power for a very limited time. Basically, they pop right in and push right back out. Pop, push, got it. Hmm, all the same. The fact that we can invoke them at all, it sounds pretty useful. 
Yeah, it'll make collecting mirages way easier. All right, but there are restrictions. First, not all mediums are champions. They must awaken to their true potential before you can invoke them. Furthermore, some champions awaken in stages, and each to their own abilities. You'll need armor gems to awaken them, and you'll want to put some thought into who you're going to invoke, and at what time for that matter. Uh, yeah! And invoking isn't free. You have to bend all kinds of divine rules to pull it off, which means more compensation. And I guess we can't pay in armor gems? Not the gems. Use those here to awaken champions. To invoke, you'll have to store up a different kind of tender. Why don't you think of it as a kind of gauge? When you have enough champion points, you can invoke them. Oh, that's super easy to understand. So, how do we go about storing champion points then? Wear down your souls. Huh? What? To put it simply, the gauge fills when you're hurt, and uh. when you defeat mirages. Um, right. Okay. So basically, all we have to do is keep fighting. Correct. Mm. Oh, I won't overthink it. <laughs> oh, one thing. Many champions can be found across Grimoire, but you will only be able to call upon three of them at any given time. Think carefully about the situation and choose the champion suited to the task at hand. But why? It takes a lot of connecting the dots to make sure they can reach you. Unfortunately, three is the most that I can handle. But if you're willing to offer up your souls as additional portals, then I could arrange something. I am pretty sure there's no way that can be good, so we'll pass. My question... Okay, hold on. Among Grimoire's denizens, there are select few born with potential to become powerful heroes. With the right stimuli, these mediums learn to channel their power and awaken as Grimoire's greatest defenders. They're like summons from previous games. Now that Cornelius' brigade captain has awoken, it's safe to say he must have been one such medium. If you have the Warrior Light's champion medal, you can invoke his power and summon him to your side in battle. You never know who's really a medium in disguise, but as long as you treat the folks you meet right, their powers are sure to come to light. Now my thing is, can we only summon you once? Or anytime this gauge is up? With to obtain your champion medals, visit the tea room on the other side of the strange door in the Nine Woods. There, you can trade in Arma gems for new medals. Arma gems turn up in a variety of places, but only ever so rarely. You can carry up to three champion medals into battle. Use the game menu to select which champions you want in your corner. Because it showed that there was two gems in stock, right? So can we only use once, like the one summon? That's it, and then they're gone. Uh, let's see, champion gauge, whether you can evoke him. Maximum of three stars. Keep in mind that each champion requires a different number of stars to summon. At first, summoning a champion across Grimoire appears to be a miracle and an act of God, but didn't God tell you she wasn't helping? Inflicts neutral physical damage, bypasses defense, also bestows defense plus to allies. What but then if we what if now? we come back in here. Which champion? Oh! Alright, never mind. Okay, so so we must be able to use them at any time as long as the champion gauges up. It's not just like a one time. For some reason in my head, I was thinking that there was actually a stock of their medals in this menu. Um, which made me lead to think that you can only use them one time and then they're gone and you need to buy a new medal for them. But that's that may not be the cost. Or, uh, yeah. So, Riffia. Sure. What now? And then... To intervene, we also need to use the armor gems. And this is what actually awakens people, right? Or helps awaken them. Rufia returns to Charlotte Solace for some well-needed R&R after Saronia. This is... Okay, and then Inna Crow is dropped in on Big Bridge Alexander. Whoa, Big Bridge Alexander? Alexander. Well, let's go in, let's go in order, I guess. 
Uh, let's see. Solace for some well-needed on art. She gets to thinking about how dangerous the passage across the ice is and decides to look for a way to create a safe route through. After talking with Shirlata, the two of them head to the Nether Nebula. Hmm. Okay. Why not? Let's do it. I guess there's no point in me dwelling on it now. Seriously, getting to town and back is a real pain in the neck. Maybe with some magic, I wonder if I could just build an ice bridge right here. <laughs> oh yeah, I guess I don't know how to use uh, blizzard magic. <laughs> dun 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 dun. I thought I would just add that in there for free. Build a bridge? Uh, I suppose that it would ease the journey to town, but ice sounds like a recipe for a broken neck. You might have a point there. Hmm, the bridge of ice. I want to pull on her tail. Now hold on. I've heard of a mirage who might be able to make us exactly what we're looking for. That would be great. I think her name was Shiva. She's said oh. to live somewhere in Cornelia. Hmm. It, wait a second. If we build a bridge that leads right to town, then who's going to stay at the Solace anymore? Mm, I certainly can't have that. Hey, Revia! We weren't done talking this over yet! Now, don't be greedy, Charlotte. Charlotte. Good grief. How'd I let you talk me into coming along? That's funny. I thought I told you I could handle it myself. Hey! Where's Shiva? Get out here on the double so we can discuss some business! <laughs> you want me to come to you? How about I turn you to ice and hang you up on my wall? <sighs> well, that's me. No, thank you. Unless you're hiding some handsome men. Then I'm done with you now. Bye. We never said we're done with you. Uh, so, we were hoping to ask for a favor. A favor? Hmm. A bridge of ice? Yes. We heard that you were a specialist of sorts. You must be mistaken. I'm not the one who does the ice bridge trick. Oh, out of your league? Well, we won't waste our time <laughs> second tier mirages. Jeez. You ready to go, Raffia? Huh? Whoa, 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 wait, wait, just a minute. When did I say that I can't do it? I heard what you said. But bridges are the other Shiva's <laughs> job. Jesus. If you're too small time, then just say so. I do not talk like that at all. And you dare to call me small time? You wretched human! <laughs> Everyone calm down! Why would you why would you oh, say that to Shiva? You're the great Shiva? Maybe you want to keep your cool. Oh. Right, just build the bridge for him. Oh, and for us too. Wait, what? When did you two show up? What's going on? Uh, I guess you <laughs> might say that we're kind of sort of tagging in. You're what? That doesn't even begin to make any sense. But don't expect any mercy from me. I like these side missions. This time, I'll show you I'm not whatever it is you thought I was. Are you still hung up on what she said in the nebula? Wow, Long remembers that conversation? I guess it did traumatize him. Well, I got wonder what we were talking about. Hey, I'll get over it. Someday. Hey now. Hey now. I don't have, um, Asuna. Which one is the one that smelling salts? Wait, now it's confusion. Shit, pick me up. Yes, I do. Huzzah! All right, let's go with. Oh, you don't have any fire magic. Shit. Well, let's cast Leaper just to see. Minus fifty to fire, minus a hundred to dark. Ah. Oh. 
think we have any dark here. But I do have some of that Fyra. And oh, I know. Yeah, yeah this. Well, they have to hit us first, though, for that to really do anything. So we're just going to attack. Yeah, yeah, keep hitting us. Oh shit! Okay, yeah. That's definitely a Shiva move. And then we'll try Petty Grudge. You haven't really done much to us though. Well, Sorry, Shiva. That wasn't so bad. Yay, levels! Ugh, forget it! Have it your way. I'll build you your stupid ice bridge. Happy? Huh? Oh, thank you so much! You're welcome. trip to Saronia won't take nearly as much time. It sure won't. Wait! This is exactly the kind of shortcut to bankruptcy that I was trying to avoid! No, I must... I must destroy the bridge! Relax, Gerlata. It'll be okay. Oh, she's so angry. Restore HP and remove status ailments and stun. Huh, cool. And then we have enough gems to do one more. What now? Who's so Who so will we touch? Um I mean that sounds fun. But going from a one star to a five star? Hmm. Let's just go in, in order here. I don't know if we're ready for a five star. Okay, Charlotta. This is the place we heard about. Oh, I should have read about lost. Shoot. It is f -f freezing out here. Let's get this over with so I can go back to the inn. Right. Somehow, I don't think she'll keep us waiting long. Leave it. Leave it. <gasps> D did you hear that? She's here. Leave your gill and Whoa. treasure and be gone from this place. You look pretty cool. If the undead princess is royalty, she must be the rich. Uh, well, I guess it's possible. To see the wealthy, that skeleton, the Mirage Lich. What? what? Oh, I get uh... it. Lich, rich. <laughs> well, too bad, princess. I don't have a guild to my name. And you're bragging? This well, is it. Technically, you don't let him be near in. All right, weak to light, but very weak to fire. He has the money, so he's actually telling the truth. Come on. She's gonna be pretty weak. Ah, uh, what is that icon? Oh, confusion! Great. That inflicts confusion. There we go. 
Let's just get... Uh... Okay. And suddenly this became... A real fight. So, Dread Gaze has chance of death. Apparently. Well, we need to kill you fast. Woo, okay, you're done. Oh, uh, I can't cast fire. Oh, we still got level one fire. That's enough. That was a good, good job. Such tough gals would be willing to. Whoa, 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 whoa. Do you Jesus. think she's trying to tell us something there? Maybe. As long as she's not bothering this place anymore. Let's go home. Stop right there! Are you just naturally mean? Because I was all like, don't kill me, let's talk. <laughs> don't pretend you didn't hear me. Was I supposed to spare you so you'd stab me in the back? And why are you still breathing? Can't you take a hint? Let's try this again. Is I can't let creepy she monsters scare folks away from my inn because that would basically put me out of business. Oh, Raffia, uh, remind me never to get on your naughty list. Look who you can't kill. What is it going to take, Charlotta? I don't think we're going to make much progress this way. Maybe we should hear what she has to say. You're way too nice for your own good. Now talk. And it better be worth it if you don't want a beating. Why are you so violent? Look, just for the record, I'm not doing this because it was my choice. Come on, being a mirage leaves me with so much time to kill. So I said, fine, what the hey? May as well make a little bling bling off my hobby. Yes. So you're mm -hmm. tormenting people just because you're bored? Ah, please don't hurt me. I'm just trying to give you some context. If a lady has a better idea, then hey, I'm all ears! So what you're saying is you don't know what to do with your unlife. Yeah, super lame, I know. I mean, all <laughs> I've really got is this deep-seated grudge, which is great for my hex life. But sometimes the magic just isn't there, even though it's supposed to be. <sighs> all right, I get it. If I can't slay you, I may as well make you useful. What? For real? From now on. Instead of scaring adventures away from my inn, I want you to scare them towards it. If you can do that, you're hired. Cool! You really mean it? Yes, I'll do it! I'm on the job! And don't you go threatening them or stealing their valuables. Oh, I would never dream of it, mistress! I have a purpose! Something to live for at long last! You just got through telling us you're dead. Well, that should take care of that. Repia, we're leaving. Oh, right. Hey, wait, mistress. I'm going with you. Nope, your job is right here, 24-7. What? Is that, like, even legal? Aw. All right, that was pretty cool. Let me actually see what that story was. I mean, I, we can kind of piece it out. I'm... What now? Who's... So... Let's just see it. Uh, Murphy are, are out and about among the ice searching for Mirage has been causing trouble, but that figure looming in the snow, it's <gasps> the undead princess. She begs for her life, but Charlotta will hear none of it and quickly finishes off the undead abomination. Oh, and it finishes the story here. Except the princess gets right back up over and over and over again. She is Charlotta Solis' PR agent. Oh, man. And then it opens up another one. <gasps> the undead princess is working hard at her new job, catching travelers and inviting them to Sherlock Solis. Oh man, the story continues, but I don't have any gems for it, Goodbye. so I guess we're just gonna have to leave. All right, well, let's go do it for this episode, everybody. I think this side stuff is actually kind of funny and pretty cool. 
and that princess goblin was amazing and then the undead princess is also really pretty cool i really like it so i will see you next time we'll continue on with the story with uh quistus take care